And welcome back. This is your man, Warrior, and this is going to be just a quick update video about some really cool things that are coming into the game. Now, we know about this content update that occurred just a couple of days ago with Basila Sean coming in and Jolie Bindo. What we did notice when we did the beta testing is that they were not that good, and the leadership ability of Bastilla did not seem like it was working at all. Well, they have since found some bugs in the characters, and they have worked them out. Now, really quick on this event, I did want to showcase that if you didn't know, you now can get... Bosk, he's now farmable on the nine dark side 9B here on the bottom. You can get him at dark side 9B, so you can immediately start farming him. Pretty exciting. But to yesterday they mentioned this, today they fixed it. They found the bug and fixed it that prevented the damage bonuses and the tenacity bonuses from Bastilla's leadership ability being activated by the undispellable protection up, also applied by her leadership ability. This was a huge deal because when we tested her, nothing was working right and everything looked horrible. And that's what we based and formed our opinions on. And they found a bunch of issues, have since addressed it in this and now, uh, through some just really quick testing, went in and did a couple of battles. It's like, what? She very well might make the Jedi meta. And I'm not talking about offensively meta. I'm talking about defensively meta. I, I'm really excited to test this out on defense. Pretty exciting. And I have a feeling there's a bunch of people that are probably going to rush out to buy her now that she's actually working the way I believe they intended her to be. So pretty cool. So she is now fixed. There is also a hotfix coming in today that is going to fix Jolie Bindo. Now, Jolie Bendo's working pretty good. Not supposed to be a heavy hitter. He's a healer, but um, you know, he was being able to uh, reduce his cooldowns on his basic, even when he was getting called to assist from other people. It was not supposed to work outside of his own turn. So they have fixed that to where it won't trigger unless it's during his turn. Um, and so that I wish they wouldn't have caught and probably left it because that would have been great for him. He's not a uh, super overpowered character, just a strong healer. He's going to be really great in the raids, and I think he's going to do well in other areas. I don't think he's going to be anyone you'll probably use in the Jedi meta for PvP, but other than that, he'll probably be phenomenal. But Bastilla, after her rework, or after her fix, so to speak, her bug fix, is another story. Now, the more important thing here, the more important thing that I really wanted to bring information to everyone's attention is over here. Check this out. All right. If you guys have never gone to StarWars.com, you should. This is a Disney-affiliated website that talks about Star Wars, all things Star Wars. There's news, blogs, all sorts of stuff. There is an article on here that talks about the Evan Hawk and a Sith ship. That's right. And I am super excited about it. Now, I don't think they were supposed to talk about it because we haven't been told about it as Game Changers yet. But it says on July 12th, the Galaxy began launching in-game marquee events for fan favorites such as Bacilla Sean, Jolie. Bindo, T3, Mission Veo, and the Wookiee Zalbar, as well as the Sith Fighter used by Darth Malak's forces at the Battle of Rakata Prime. Now, Darth Malak's forces in that battle were a lot of Sith assassins. That's probably what is going to end up flying this particular Sith Fighter, but this is the first I'm hearing about a Sith Fighter being added in-game. Super freaking excited about this. You guys have no idea. The only problem is I have nothing to put towards the Sith Fighter ship when it comes into the game. The good news is my Sith Assassin, at least, is at gear 12, but I'm really excited about that. So we do definitely, with this leak, I guess if you want to call it that, uh, know now that we're getting a Sith fighter, but... At the bottom of this, if you read this, this is a really good article, by the way, with a lot of really cool uh, screenshots and some artwork. I really like this artwork. It's very nice. But near the bottom, they're talking about everything. And at the very end, it's pretty, pretty auspicious here. It says, of course, I have a different perspective than people who experience it for the first time as a player. But for me, where that the magic really starts to come through is, you know, finishing a mission, heading back to the hangar and seeing the Evan Hawk there. Now, He's talking about the original game in 2003, but it's italicized and we're getting the crew in the game as we speak for the Evan Hawk. Literally, as we speak, these, these characters are being added into the game and we know now they're adding another ship. So I have a very, very sneaking suspicion that they know something that we don't and that's that the Evan Hawk is soon to be entered into the game. My guess is they'll probably tag uh, Zalbar and Mission as the crew members for that ship, maybe even 
uh, the, the droid. So what are your thoughts about Ebon Hawk, the possibility of getting that ship, as well as knowing now that we're getting a Sith fighter ship in the game? What are your thoughts about the changes to Bastilla Shan and her leadership actually working the way it was supposed to, making her really, really powerful? Leave your thoughts about all of this in the comments down below. And as always, keep your gaming on. Warrior, out.